There are many facts and figures in building any project, especially one as large as this. There are pros and there are cons. They say there are many benefits to building this enormous power plant, the largest and the cleanest of its kind in all of New England. The many benefits, and there are many, are all listed in the pros column. But then there are the cons. In the cons column, you'll find water. The power plant will be the cause of the extensive depletion of life-giving water, a vital need to sustain all living things. Water is not expendable. Many of us drink, cook, and wash from the pure waters from our wells. What will happen if the plant drains our wells dry? Will we then be forced to purchase water at an added expense? Air quality is in the cons column. It is a fact that the plant will cause the incorporation of harmful chemicals into every breath we take. This will put us all at an unwarranted risk. You cannot breathe in harmful chemicals and not be ill-affected. Noise levels join air and water in the cons column. The added constant non-stop noise that will be produced by the building and operating of the power plant will amplify the already constant noise from the gas facility, which I hear up on Town Farm Road. People live here for the peace and the quiet of what country life is all about. If we wanted constant noise, polluted air, and chlorinated water, we would have chosen to live elsewhere. Boroughville is known as a bedroom community. We don't own houses here in Boroughville. We own homes. And our homes are where our hearts are. We live in what many call God's country, up here in the northwest part of our state. Why would anyone choose to alter that? Perhaps it's for no other reason than for the sake of money, power, no pun intended, and prestige. To rob Peter, to pay Paul, is unjust. To knowingly and adversely affect the value of our properties is unjust and unfair. We have done nothing wrong to justify punishing we few for the benefit of the many others. Would it be right for me to approach you and inform you I am taking thousands of dollars away from your personal assets? Then why would it be okay for Invenergy, for the state, to do this to us? There's more than financial value in our homes. Our homes are filled with moral values right and wrong. There are too few places like this left in our state. The health and well-being of our families, as well as our neighbors, our quality of life, the equity in our homes, our water and air, the woodlands, our watershed, the abundant wildlife we are blessed to have here, our peace and quiet, the darkest star-filled skies, all the treasured gifts that play a part in making Boroughville God's country, to me, far outweigh the listed benefits in the prose column. These things should be protected, preserved, and enjoyed for generations to come, long after we are born. Thank you. Thank you.